welcome to another video of the channel's Ghost Revex, aka Ghost. Today we had a thermite and we're running on various robots in different configurations. This one we're running the Gus with the thermite actually works pretty well. The thermite is a giant aphid, <laughs> it's basically a heavy version of the aphid. And then you have the Gus with this build, so you have miniature thunders on this setup and they're constantly firing. So, as you can see, we're doing damage. The thing about the Gus is, is just like the EC Thunder at times, it does a good amount of damage, but you can't really tell, especially when you're, you know, you're not low on health. If you have full health, you don't really notice it, unless it gets close, right? Because it does, the closer it gets, the more damage it does. As you can see, that Rhino. Now, the Rhino, yeah, the Rhino would have had Gus, and then he also, I believe, a he or she, they probably have the Storm also as the medium weapon on their bot. So, here we are attacking this this butch with yeah yeah i believe we're gonna get him out of here but at the same time while i'm attacking i'm still trying to watch myself because those trebs can do a lot of damage so my goal is to fire and stay behind cover and keep doing as much damage so we're in the optimal range of this weapon and we're gonna do a lot of damage at that point uh, my teammate actually took him out with some orkins so now we're gonna move out and of course here comes the boa now the boa has the vortex and the thermite but at the same time, these, these gusts, they're firing consistently, just pop, pop, pop. Now, they do go into a longer delay. Once you see the bar go down, they have basically five shots, I believe, just like the EC Thunder, I mean the Thunder, but they they need to recharge. So once they get to the, the max that they can fire, they'll keep firing, but you're not going to continue to do as much damage as you would if they reloaded. So here we are taking on the Galahad. They're already injured. They have Gus on it as well. I believe they have the Storm up top. But as you can see, you know, they're taking a lot of damage. And of course, the shield, we're going to do double damage with the Gus to that to that bot. So they're out of there. I got my the dock with me, people. Oh, that's, that's going to hurt. So yeah, you see two of the Thermites come in. That was a Carnage and a Fury. Both of those fired at the same time. Low health bot pretty much a done deal and so this this leo to my left is running the dragoon with gus so you run different setups the gus is interesting because it has 500 meter radius but at the same time it's doing it's it seems like it's not doing much damage that's the whole thing it's very kind of deceptive it's really not at first but it is right it's doing some damage definitely against if you have an energy shield it's doing, it's messing that up, right? Well, if you're within that 500 meters, it's gonna knock that shield out very quickly. And then if somebody fires another weapon at you that needed to get past the energy shield and is gone, like these, this uh, thermite, they're gonna take it out. Clyde was in my in the live stream the other day when we were playing, and he was like, "Yo, hit this in succession." So instead of firing them all at the same time, go one, two, three. And as you see, I just fired one, two, three. And you don't have to do that. But when you do that, it actually does better damage, especially against a bot that has an Ansel, and maybe the Ansel is kind of almost gone, because the first one's going to try and do damage to the Ansel. If it doesn't get through it, the second one may get through it, and then if the second one doesn't, the third may get through it, so you can actually do damage to that bot. So just remember, if you're running the Aphid setup, or Vortex when that hits the game, or this Thermite when it hits, just know sometimes it's better to fire one, two, three or one, two, then to go one, two, three, uh, all at once, right? Because it's gonna allow the weapons to kind of hit in a like, in a general type deal. And as it does, it's gonna do damage, especially the energy shields and also to the bot, right? Sometimes you may do more damage because the bot, once the bot stops and taking damage from it as well. And your goal is trying to hit a stationary target. And also with a small bot, you definitely want to wait till it's kind of stationary because most small bots are going to avoid a lot of that damage in most cases. Now, the bigger the signature, or you say the bigger the bot, the more damage you're going to take. So here we are. I see this is a that's a dock up there, so we're going to try and get them. And I'm trying to use my cover here, so I'm going to slide behind my little my little uh, blind. I don't know what they call. I was going to say Venetian blind blade with the car, right? But <laughs> I know some people bathrooms they may have a little area you can walk over, and, you know, undress and stuff like that. So there's a Leo here, and then I'm about to get whopped. Oh no, they fired at my teammate. I saw that little, that was a Regatta running the Vortex. 
That was not really cool. So now we just move undercover because somebody started firing the probably some hydras at me. And definitely the hydras have made a huge comeback into the game. I mean, it like you would see them, you would see hydras and spires. You would definitely see them, but it now is every game, just about every match you're gonna see them in there, right? And even on tests, we're gonna see them because they do a lot of damage. And most weapons that you can hide behind cover, people are gonna use. If they do enough damage, somebody's gonna use it. So here we are trying to stay on the bridge. I'm trying to go ahead and get this bot out of here. I know I'm getting hit by the dragoon, but I'm just trying to get that bot out of here, which works. And then we just go try and find this teammate on this uh, enemy bot here. And understand, when you're under the bridge, it's kind of the drawback. Whenever there's cover over the top of you, depending on how close it is, when you fire, most of your weapons are going to hit into the roof, as you can see here. And so it's basically not going to do any damage to the enemy bot because it's going to get run. It's basically going to hit the ceiling. So here we are moving in. They're, they're backed up into their home base. And I think, yeah, got rocked. <laughs> I got rocked, people. I think I got, yeah, I got hit by a thermite and a vortex at the same time. Well, actually, two vortex and a thermite is no good. So that's two mediums and a heavy version of the same weapon. No good. So we're trying to move back in over here. They're down to three bots. And I always joke about the Lance, man. The Lance is like the, the old folks home when it's time to get into the battle. <laughs> but it's a tank, people. Tanks don't usually move too fast, so it makes sense. Here's the Galahad. I actually like that build. The Galahad with the storm and the gust, that is a good build. You know, you do have a lot of splash in the game when it comes to the Orkins. I mean, there's nothing that really compares. Like, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, everybody's even on health, and they walk up. Orkins are usually going to win 90% of the time. You know, if you got an energy shield, that make a difference. But for the most part, if it's mono -y mono, the top burst and burst means how quickly your weapon basically basically dumps the entire load or fires the entire payload at whatever you're firing at. And the Orkin has probably one of the ugh, off the top <laughs> explosive right now. The Treb or something like that does have an explosive hit, but at the same time, you know, that's an energy base where I'm talking about, you know, so many weapons or rockets coming out at one time. So as you can see, the the Galahad here is moving up. They're getting hit by the gust and the storm. That is like I said, it's a good it's a good it's a good setup. But now he's getting hit by the gust with thunder. So it's a trade off. It's like my my shotgun's bigger than yours, but they had back up and as you see we finished and took them all out. So Definitely, this is going to be a fun little thing to play in the game. It will hurt. I promise you that. If you get hit by it, it's going to hurt. If you enjoy videos like this, definitely hit that like button. If you want to see more, more videos like this, subscribe. Bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And as always, choose like over death.